and used to save hundreds of jobs at American Airlines here in Tulsa, now workers are calling on lawmakers and the community for support. Two News reporter Sarah Goldenberg joins us now live from the Transport Workers Union with more. Sarah. Russ, workers began printing hundreds of signs today. They're campaigning for all of the support they can get. In the meantime, negotiations continue. Each new sign brings a flicker of hope to American Airlines workers. And right now we're just waiting and uh, waiting to hear the news. Workers like Chris Reinhart are still waiting for the final word after American Airlines announced it will cut 13,000 jobs nationwide. There's a lot of unease, uneasiness out there. I mean, I, I'm a shop steward, and every day when I report to work, my crew's coming to me and they want to know what's happening. They want to know what's going on. With 2,100 jobs here in Tulsa on the line, union workers are taking action. They're printing and posting yard signs to send across the country. And so far, more than 15,000 people have pledged their support at isupportamericanjobs.com. We're hoping that the more support we can get will help to uh, better influence that process to, to come to terms with something we call, that, that we can all live with. Aircraft mechanic Jack Higginbottom has been through this drill before. He was laid off by American Airlines in 2003 and returned to the company two years ago. One day you, you feel pretty comfortable in your future and the next day you know the company's filed bankruptcy and, and you start kind of looking at your finances and your, your plans for the future. And a lot of, I know mine have changed. In a statement, American Airlines says it is, quote, committed to preserving thousands of quality jobs in Tulsa. For now, workers hope posting these signs will drum up enough support to keep negotiations on their side. I believe it'll make a big difference. Uh, you know, they, they always say strength in numbers. So, so maybe it'll get, get some attention. Now, workers are calling on the governor and several other lawmakers to sign their names to the website in a show of support. Live in North Tulsa, Sarah Goldenberg, 2 News, works for you.